It was win or go home for the Brooklyn Nets, and they're not going home. They're actually going to Toronto on Sunday for Game 7 with a 97-83 victory here in Game 6 at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. I'm Dexter Henry for NetsDaily.com. Join as usual for the post-game report with Tom Lorenzo. And, Tom, this is the game you saw after Game 6. Yeah. It was a very interesting game. They <laughs> fell behind by 26, come all the way back to tie it, only to end up losing right. by a few points. But the team talked about the fact that they needed to be more aggressive, they were tonight, and he did that right from the start. Yeah, and it was led by Darren Williams. Darren Williams got out to an early start, uh, really kind of led this team the whole way, uh, finished up with 23 points, uh, played crunch time minutes on a bum ankle. Yeah. Uh, he, he, he said he twisted his ankle, uh, came back out, stayed in the game, uh, and really continued to lead this team. Even when the Raptors made a late run, uh, Darren Williams was out there and uh, helped lead this team to victory. After the game, Darren Williams, we heard from him talking a little about how the Nets had to be aggressive tonight and what they will need to do to keep it up and win in Game 7. You know, we're on the road, but uh, it is a Game 7. Um, you know, we definitely remember that game. But like I said, this is a new team. You know, I've said it a million times. This is a new team and this is a new season. And, um, you know, we're excited about this opportunity. Uh, I've been on a team that's won a Game 7 on the road before, so it can be done. Uh, but it's going to take a lot, of, a lot of hard work, a lot of grit. And uh, we got to be ready to go in, like Paul said, into a hostile environment. Before this series started, one of the things we heard about a lot was experience versus youth. The Nets have any experience with all the players, the veterans like Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce. And now it comes down to one game where it's truly yeah. a winner go home uh, on Sunday. And the Nets have all the experience here. They have guys who've been through this before. Darren Williams has won a game seven before. Paul Pierce has played in many game sevens and won before. Same thing with Kevin Garnett. Does that factor in here, Tom? Is this a huge, they're going up to a hostile environment in Toronto. Is this a big factor, this experience that the Nets have here in this Game 7? You know, I really think it is. Uh, the fact that, you know, of course, Toronto's at home, uh, so they have the home court advantage. But really one of the toughest things to do in sports is close out a playoff series, whether it be Game 6, Game 7. But we saw tonight, it's tough to close out a playoff series. So the Raptors are going to have to come out. And even though, again, they have home court, they're going to have to play their best game. Uh, it's going to be a new experience for them. Uh, they're finally facing, a lot of these guys are finally facing that win or go home um, uh, situation, whereas the Nets have been there before. So look, it's going to come down to the basketball that's played on the court. Uh, but I do think that there is going to be a factor, especially early on, uh, maybe pregame nervous jitters for the, for the Raptors, more focus for the Nets. Hmm. But I definitely do think it'll factor into the game. It's very, going to be very interesting to see how that plays out. I think all of us are going to expect Toronto to come out with a huge charge behind that home crowd. Now, looking at that game seven, here it comes down to what are the keys to this game, Tom? What is it going to take for the Nets to pull this game out, to not have another disaster like they did last year against Chicago, and win a game seven, albeit it be on the road this time? Yeah, you know, the biggest key is going to be Darren Williams. He's going to need to stay in his game. He's going to need to maintain being aggressive, uh, you know, he's going to have to lead this offense. And on the defensive end, he's going to have to stop Kyle Lowry. But it's going to be up to Darren Williams. And I also think Jason Kidd's going to have to make the right moves. He's going to have to be smart. Uh, he played uh, Kevin Garnett 26 minutes in game six. Very which interesting. Is, right, which is a few more minutes than he's used to playing him. You know, so, Ke so Jason Kidd's going to have to make those decisions. And if he needs to extend Kevin Garnett's minutes, if he needs to extend Paul Pierce, he's going to have to. Because, of course, if you don't win, it's a season over. So it's going to be interesting to see how, how Jason Kidd does in his first Game 7. Yep. Uh, but I think it really does start with Darren Williams and him leading the charge and being aggressive. Well, Darren showed up tonight, 23 points. Fans are hoping that he shows up and well on Sunday. It will be a huge game for the Nets versus the Raptors. I think many people will say if they don't get past this first round, it will be viewed as a failure. Obviously, we want him to get past so we can do more videos like this on Nets Daily. We don't want this to be the last video of the season. We're hoping that the Nets pull off this win here in Game 7 on Sunday. That's it from here at the Barclays Center where the Nets defeated Toronto Raptors 97-83 in Game 6 of their first round matchup. Game 7 is Sunday. For Tom Lorenzo, I'm Dexter Henry. We're signing off.